everybody, AmpReperguy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. So we have an Ameritron AL811H in for repair. It's an older one, so I'm going to do all the mods, bias mod, gas discharge tubes, blow the sockets, compress the socket clips. Grids are not grounded in this one. I'll ground the grids. I'll add the diodes to the rear board, do the 10 meter mod. Needs a parasitic board, needs a new plate choke. The wire opened up and someone twisted it together, soldered it. And um, I'll get brand new SO239 connectors from Max Gain Systems. Great connectors. It's getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome, awesome, awesome company. And um, that's about it. So uh, if there's anything else, I'll touch base at the end and uh, you'll see it working also. Okay, so please stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a bit. I put the gas discharge tubes in, grounded the grid connection directly to the metal, one connection per tube socket. Um, I'll install the plate choke and put a longer screw through it. Also touched up on solder joints. So this is all set. Back to work. See you guys soon. Okay, so we're back with the completed Maritron AL811H, 3.7 megahertz, 1 kW slug, Bird 43, Bird PEP kit is installed and turned on, and it's going into a Bird dummy load. Okay, so you see the settings. Radio set to roughly 50 watts. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, audio, hello, audio, hello, 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 audio, 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 audio. Here, audio, 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 hello, audio, hello, hello, 800, 800, 800, audio, hello, 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 audio, hello, audio, hello, 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 tit, 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 audio, hello, 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 tit, 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 hello, hello, audio, audio, hello, 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 audio, hello, 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 hello. Audio hello 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 and it works as it should. Okay, I'll also let I'll let the tubes cool off and I'll shut it off with the high voltage bleed down. I'll unplug it, go in there and make sure there's no residual high voltage present, and I'll shoot a video and show you everything I did. So stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe. Back with the completed AL811H. So, here are the old grid resistors, the old piece for the parasitic suppressors, the old SO239s, the short screw for the bottom of the plate choke. I also put a longer one in the top. So the newer ones had less inductance. They had, uh, at the very end, a half a turn or more or less, so that's why it was spread. So when you spread the coil, it makes the coil shorter. So it got a brand new plate choke. You can see the old one right here. The parasitic board. So everything I did under the sockets. So that's all set. But I'll say it again. Gas discharge tubes. Compressed the socket clips. Grounded the grid connection for each socket directly to the chassis. Did the 10 meter mod. Added the diode string on the rear board. You have to do that when you ground the grids. Otherwise the gain will be way too high. So that'll also um, make the amp run cooler because the tubes won't be biased on as hard. Brand new SO239 connectors from Max Gain Systems. Awesome company. Brand new Pentalab 572s. Awesome, awesome, awesome people there. Did the bias mod also. Meter protection diode was okay. Clean the input rotary switch with deoxic gold. Output rotary switch with deoxic gold. And... Um, Faster away from the tube. I'm gonna stick my finger down there because the glass envelope is still warm. Okay, so when this all cools off, I'll manipulate them a little bit better. So they get better cooling. Okay, so that's about it. I tighten up on a bunch of hardware. You know, the connection at the back of the air variable capacitor on the plate side. There's a nut that's usually loose. Um, always make sure the screws are nice and tight to hold the capacitors in, and then there's studs for the load side. Always make sure ever so carefully that those are tight. 
And um, that's about it. So if you have an amp, repair, uh, amp that needs repair, feel free to give me a call. I've got another AL811H to work on over there. I have another amp in the box, another one I have to pick up. I have to pack some hardbox kits now and probably bring an amp over to FedEx. So I um, really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, again, amprepairguy.com, also hardbockelectronics.com. If you order a hardbox kit, it goes out the next, within a business day. And um, keep, keep sending the amps. Keep them coming. I love doing it. 73. Have a great day.